Okay, <clears throat> welcome back. And so what we're going to do is um, now we're going to start using the remainder theorem to talk about zeros. And so today's video is about potential zeros of a polynomial function. And so to start with, we want to define what a zero is. So in this case, it says a zero. So a zero of a polynomial function is a number k such that the function evaluated at that k value gives you zero. So if a value, if you plug in a value into a function and the result of y or the, the value of the function at that, at that k value is zero, then we would say that k is a zero of the function. Okay. In real numbers, if you have real number zeros, if your zeros are real numbers, then those correspond to the x values of the x intercepts where the graph crosses the x axis. Okay? So if we get real number zeros, then those correspond to the graph of the function where the graph crosses the x axis. Okay? So there's a visual of, of what this translates to. So the zeros, real zeros, correspond to x intercepts of the graph. Okay. Now, a couple of things that are going to be useful. We can use synthetic division to find the value at a given k. So we have a real nice and easy way to find out whether a given k value is a zero or not. Because we can use synthetic division to find the remainder. right? And the remainder tells us the value of the function at that k value. Well, if the remainder is zero, then that means f of k is equal to zero. And thus, k is a zero of the polynomial. Okay? Otherwise, k is not a zero. And so note also that a zero of a polynomial function is also called a root. Right? So we can call it a root or a solution of the equation f of x equal to zero. So if it is, if it is a solution or a root, of this equation, then it's a zero. We call it a zero. Okay? So there's a little bit of nuance between using the word root, but it's very much interchangeable. Okay? So if you say, if you hear me say zero or you hear somebody say root, realize it's the same thing. Okay? And so next we'll do an example, but that's it. So realize that this is. Uh, how we're going to use, we're going to use this to find potential um, zeros of a polynomial function by using the remainder theorem. And so that's going to involve synthetic division. Okay. Have a good day.